Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel and then in this tutorial video I will answer one of the requested uh, machine problem by one of our subscriber uh, according to him uh, create a C++ program to display or print 1 to 100 using while loop statement and then it will display uh, each number by 10 so, for example, the first batch will be 1 to 10, second batch is 11 to 20, so on and so forth until it will reach to 100. So, before we answer the, the requested machine problem by one of our subscribers, um, I would like to uh, welcome everyone to my channel. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. So, we have, so let's get started. So, we have here the comments last, asterisk, print.cpp, yours truly, Professor Jake Rodriguez from Prada, my IT, MIT. And then I have two websites where you can download free source code. The first one is www.jakearcomparada.com. The second one is jakearpomperada at blogspot.com In my personal email address, you can reach me here if you have some questions at jakearpomperada at gmail.com At present time, I'm accepting programming jobs, web development, mobile, IT consultancy at a very reasonable cost. You can email me. And then my location is Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. So we have closed. And then line number 8, we have here a library file in C++, Sharp, Include, IO Stream. So basically, uh, every C++ program, if we are new, just learning around how to use it or to write a code, there is a basic library file called IO Stream. IO means Input Output Streaming Command. So it allows us to use basic uh, commands like console out, console in, for input, in output. 11, we have here 12, we have variables. <coughs> so counter 1, number in i, which has a data type of, uh, which has a data type of integer. When we say integer, it means that the values that will be stored in counter 1 number and I can only accept whole negative including 0 next we have here in main it is a main function that is being searched in execute during the execution and termination of our C++ program every C++ program should be having a main so we have here the line number 15, curly bracket, begin of our body of our program. 17i, variable i, we initialize the value here with 1. On the top here, we are initializing all the variables to 0. The main reason that we initialize the value to 0 so that there is no runtime error that will give us uh unexpected output because our variables are not initialized that's why we initialize all three variables the counter one number and i with zero and the number we have 100 so we have the title print to 100 using while loop in c plus plus new line horizontal tab while i less than 100 let us check if the condition is true yes because the initial value of i is only one and then uh, number we have here 100 curly bracket counter one increment by one display i equals i plus one if counter equals 10 here is the code that will display the first batch of numbers from 1 to 10 second row 11 to 20 third row 20 to 30 so on and so forth until we arrive with 100 here is the code that I wrote no? a new line tab counter equal 0 close and then end of program that informs the user that the program has been ended we have here new line 
and then two new lines keep sequence and then close for formatting purposes let us go to execute compile and run so here we go print 1 to 100 using while loop in c plus plus the first row is from 1 to 10 second is 11 to 20 third 21 to 30 fourth 31 to 40 fifth 41 to 50 next 51 to 60 61 to 70 71 to 80 second to the last row 81 to 90 and lastly 91 to 100 and the program so i hope that you learn something new in this tutorial video on how to print 1 to 100 using while loop in c plus plus and then we divided no the display from by 10 thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to like share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button i will put a link in the description below where you can download my, my the complete source code in my two websites see you in the next video tutorial guys this is your friend jake saying bye bye for now